Welcome to the Mixed World Tournament, match three of five today, 21 overall this weekend, 9 o'clock tomorrow, 9 o'clock Sunday. It's the third round today against Hilo Dispensary and the 1710 Hurricanes from Augusta, Maine, in the 1710 Bowling Center. We have Renee Skinner, captain of your team. How's your team doing so far? Uh, so far, we're 0 and 2. <laughs> now, how you start, how you finish, right? Exactly, exactly. Tell the viewers about your game, your highlight of your career. Um, I would have to say the highlight of my career probably would be winning the Ladies Worlds International. We were two, we're two times in a row champions. Congratulations. Thank Good luck you. today. Thank you. Paul Dyer, the owner of uh, All Play Belfast, Maine. Hey, how you doing? You run the Eight Lane Bowling Center. Uh, nice men's money match here a couple weeks ago. Yes, it was fun. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it again on July 30th again. Uh, how are you bowling so far today? Good so far. I started out well. Keep it up. All right, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. And Al Nelson from Hilo Dispensary. How you bowling, Al? Uh, not too good, but that's all right. It's early. It's Real early. quick, a highlight of your bowling career. One quick highlight of your career. Highlight of my bowling career? Holy cow. Um, probably my um, a 1389 10-string loss to Al Joy. I went 1389, I'll join on 1423. All right, good luck today. All right, thank you. All right, so it's a one string, two points for a win, one for tie, nothing but total. Paul Grant, Bob Lee with you live from Academy Lane's Haverhill Match. It's the Mixed World Championships. String three of 21, five today, 10 tomorrow, and six on Sunday. Total point for all playoffs will win the Mixed World Playoffs. Welcome back, Bob Lee on the controls hey. and the score cam. Make sure I'm right. Okay, he, first, first he has Mona ball. Lamar in the pocket. 7 10 goalpost. Paul Dyer, the owner of Belfast Lanes. Ready to take ownership. It's leasing it right now. Ready to buy it outright. In Belfast, Maine, all play has the half push to right. Lamar missed it. Dyer, good bid. He's up to 4-7. He was big. He had a 150 string, that fifth string, that men's money match. You can watch on Spread Eagle Production. Nice, 10. Full shot there. 10 after 1 from Mona Lamar, the captain. Paul Dyer, 9. Captain is Renee Skinner for 117 Hurricanes. Paul, 50. 50 years old, 110 league bowler, career high, 114. Lamar headman again, no split this time, 3 6 10. Paul Dyer, nice ball. That's the five to the right, the eight to the left. Mona Lamar from Dresden, Maine, D R E S D E N, Dresden, Maine, for a spare. Missed it. High single of 172, high triple of 422, and a high five of 696. Dyer is fair. 19 the ball through two. Lamar and eight, 18 through two. Michelle Ward for the 117 Hurricanes. On the right, high low dispensary, second bowler is Gino. Gene, they call it Gino Gilbert. Wife of Dave Gilbert, we'll see. As the anchor bowler. They call it Genie, you know. Michelle Ward, the ball in the women's double event, September 10th in extra lanes, gets four. Gino is three. Ten lemon drops, one dollar for Al Johnson's kill off as a cancer, five in each of the first two matches. All rebroadcast on Spread Eagle Productions. Subscribe free on YouTube to Spread Eagle Productions for outstanding Kenneth and Bowling at Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. It's free. Subscribe today. Both balls open. Michelle Ward looking for a 10. He gets an 8. Michelle Ward, 48 years old. 104 average, career high, 108. High single of 175, high five 644, high 10 of 1144. Bulls out of stars and strikes in South Paris, Maine. Gino Gilbert of seven to start her match. Gino Gilbert, 110 league bowler, high single 173, high triple 393, high five 667. Michelle punches off three. 
Nice ball there for a strike, almost. What pin left up? Her high 10 is 11.76. Her high three and nine pin bowling is 4.20. Woods open. Home lanes 1710, Gusta Main. Bowling since 2007. Roger and Dave introduced to the game. After a seven box, trying to get a spare here on lane 33 from Averill Mass. And she got it. 17 to the ball through two to Gino Gilbert. Michelle Ward, tough six, just 14 through two to start her match in the third match. Here's Renee Skinner. Came in second place in last year's Teacher Nationals. Pulled here, right here in Academy Lanes, here from Mass. Lori Lewis won it for the second year in a row. No teachers this year, though. Mike Chichi runs that trip. Here's Tom Pelkey for the 1710 Hurricanes. 54 year older, gets four. Renee Skinner. Breaks up the split, has the 4 7. Renee from West, Westbrook, Maine, originally from Scarborough, Maine, home of the Big 20 Bowling Center. Pelkey, oh, what a shot for a spare! 10 in the ball to start the third match. One string matches, two for a win, one for a tie, nothing but total. Both teams looking at their first points. Tom Pelkey, a 112 league bowler, career high, nine, 128. Renee is open. Tom Pelkey, high single, 195. High triple, 479. Check out this high five, 745. High 10, 1329. Renee Paul Grant special, missed the second, make the third, 10 after one. Tom's home lanes, 1710. Augusta, Maine. Uses 2.6 pound Cobra bowling balls. Finally got him interested when he was young. Won multiple state titles and singles, doubles, and mixed doubles as well. On the bonus, goal post, 7 10 lead, 18 up to 1. Renee Skinner off to the left. 1, 3, 6 to 8 in the back left. Did I already give you that? No, you did. Renee's average 106, career best 110. High single 138. High triple 348. Pelkey trying to kick it over. Ball, oh, what a try. Buddy might go a little more right in that wood. Renee leads up the head pin. Renee's high five, six eleven, high ten, eleven oh two. Balls out of stars and strikes in South Paris, Maine. Uses two point six pound Cobra bowling balls. Pelkey a nine, twenty seven through two. Renee Skinner nine, nineteen through two. Fourth ball is a five. Here's Aaron Basford on the right. The one seven ten Hurricanes. About 45 minutes, small play entertainment center in Belfast, Maine. So all main bowlers today, right? In, in this in this matchup. Right? Yep, pretty much all main bowlers here. Yep. Zach Skinner, first time seeing him on the left. First. Aaron Basford has the one, three, nine, and ten. Two pieces of wood. Zach Skinner has the one, three. Good lead there. 51% conversion rates for pro bowlers. Not wood. All stats provided by Spread Eagle Productions. For a spare, missed it left. Aaron, high single, 183. High triple, 446. For a spare, missed it. Aaron's high five, 697. High 10, 1250. Also, goes on a 1710. In Augusta, Maine, an eighth to start. Also uses Cobra 2.7 pound bowling balls. 10 for Zach Skinner. To start his match. High low dispensary on the left, 1710 Hurricanes on the right. Right now it's a 12 pin lead for the Hurricanes out of 1710 Bowling Center. It's a great name for Bowling Center. Another goal pole, 710. Tough piece of wood for Aaron Basford. Zach Skinner, 1, 2, 8, 6, and 10 to the right. Two pieces of wood to the left. Getting advice. Now Nelson how to play this. Sure. Yeah, there you go. 
Try to kick it over. Oh, what a try. Passford's open. Good bid. Zach Skinner. Nice bid there also. Can't get to the right side of the 6 and 10 left up. Aaron Passford at 9, 17 through 2. for Zach Skinner, good pitting, 20 through two. Anchor balls, Al Nelson, the veteran bowler, on the right for the 1710 Hurricanes. Here's Dave Gilbert, husband of Gino Gilbert, we saw earlier in the string. Al Nelson, the one, almost the 1710, 17810 for the 1710 team. Nelson just missed the right. Good bid. Now Nelson McGarden in Maine, 112 average career, best 128. Good bid almost. Eight pin left up. Now Nelson's high single 201. High triple 485. That included the 120 string. Nice out, eight to start. Has a high five of 756, high ten of 1406. Ten for Dave Gilbert. Now Nelson bowls out of 1710 in Augusta, Maine. Parents got him interested when he was five years old. He's 59 right now. Big fan of Charlie Milan from Maine. Dave Gilbert on the left. Also out of 1710 in Augusta, Maine. He's also 59 years old. Nice ball there. That's the two and the seven. Now Nelson, three in that first ball. Goes left, he's up the one, three and the seven. Dave Gilbert averaged 113, career high 120, high single 191, high triple 481, high five 735, high 10 1301. For a spare, yes! Dave Gilbert, a spare in the second, 20 the ball through two. For high low dispensaries. Seven for Al Nelson, tough start. Eight and a seven, 15 through two. For the anchor. He bowled now. Johnson's candle fence for cancer. A couple of qualifying rounds to go at the Big 20, Scarborough, Maine. Beautiful facility. Mike Walker, great owner there. Mother Leslie doing countless hours, do a great job running that center. Back to the top of the order. The Mixed World Championship, day one of three, 21 strings, five today. This is our third match, all separate broadcasts, three broadcasts and spreading punches. Paul Dyer working a spare. Can't get that wobbling six pin to go. Seven in the field, 26 through two. Mona Lamar, 18 through two, has a pack of five on lane 33. Trying to kick it over, won't go. Good try. Moon is open. Dyer right on for 10. 36 to 3. Mona. Eight. 26 to 3. Two more matches to go after this today, Bob. Really good matches. Tim Douglas had a 179 in the first match today. And Steyer gets four. Going a nice ball there. No split this time. Try to get a strike out of it. Will it go? Yes! And she turned around, turned around more up, and she's saying. She balls down a strike. Anywhere they go. 36 plus two through four for the team captain. For the 1710 Hurricanes. That was how their hurricane shot. Paul Dyer in nine, 45 through four. Paul Dyer, owner of Belfast 
All Play Center. Tell us about your bowling lanes, how people can bowl there, what your hours are, and what you have to offer there for services and food and arcades. Uh, right now in the uh, summertime, we're open six days a week. Um, uh, other than Tuesdays, we're open every other day. Um, we have an arcade, pool tables, uh, we have a cafe where we serve food. We got eight bowling lanes. Do you know Gilbert gets eight, has the six ten with a piece of wood. Michelle Wood, just four. We have 156 arcades there, right? Uh, something like that? We got 34 arcades. 34 arcades. Yeah. Oh, nice try! She got it for a spare! Nice shot! 35 of the ball through three. One string match. Wood's open. Um, you were terrific at that money match. A 155th string? That was a clutch for your team. Yeah, that was a good feeling. I struggled the first three strings, so three or four actually. So it was, it was nice to have a good one in the you middle. Michelle Wood a 7, 21 through 3. It's full start for her. So we, the next men's money match in all play is coming up on July 30th. Yes. And yep. your, your brother's going to bowl in there too, right? Yes, Lewis he's, Dyer. he's supposed to bowl. He's uh, waiting on an answer from a partner. But it won't yeah, be, it won't be Chris been... Merrill. Talk to Chris. It won't be Chris Merrill. Let's find somebody else. Okay, there's a couple others, so yeah. Gino on the spare gets five, 40 through three. Michelle, what head pin? One, two, split. So tell us about the food you have there also. Uh, we serve a variety of stuff, um, you know, with pizzas, sandwiches, hot dogs, uh, mozzarella sticks. Mac and cheese bites. You got steak. You got steak there too, don't you? Yeah, steak and cheeseburger. Steak's probably our biggest seller. Steak bombs. Yeah, nice try by Michelle. Won't go. Hey, I saw on Facebook that you get a pool championship there. Yeah, we have uh, four pool teams that that use all play for their home house, and uh, they're going to Vegas in a couple of first week in August. And speaking of one seven ten, there's a one seven ten, but it's Hilo Dispensary shooting for one seven ten. But she gets a seven. 47 through 4. Michelle Ward, 29 through 4 for the 8 bucks. So you've been in business since 2014. You're leasing. You're about to close on the business. When are you going to close that deal, you think? Uh, right now, it's looking like probably the first couple of weeks in July. Congratulations. Thank you. And a great family. I appreciate the way you guys treated me. Open arms there. You had a great business there and very festive. The Bulls are all helping each other, cheer each other on. It's great sportsmanship there. And Mark Carey was great in that match. Yes, uh, he sure had a 53 was. pin lead, and then they cut the 14 with like three blocks to go, and they were cruising. And then you guys just put it away. Uh, Mark's a good anchor, man. All right, Paul Dyer from All Play Belfast, Maine. Congratulations on getting your alleys. Thank you. Thank you. Back to live action. Tom Pelkey is spare. 37 the ball through three. Oh, nice 10. Renee Skinner, 29 through three. Renee, good pinning, a 10 and 9 in the 10 so far. Going for 42 years in the pocket. Some wood to help with the four, seven, to ten. Three pieces of wood. Pelkey on a second mark in the pocket. That looked like a strike. Nine and a half. Nine pin left up. A spare in the first, a spare nine here. 46 to three. Nice bid, won't go. Belkey for another one. Oh, it was a tough piece of wood. It was real high. Renee the 10. Not bad pinning. 39 through 4. It's pro bowling. Another mark. Belkey a 10. 56 through 4. What a start for him. Impressive 745 high five for Tom Pelkey. Zach Skinner on the right for High Low Dispensary. They're up 18 all of a sudden. Aaron Basford for the Hurricanes from 1710 from Augusta, Maine. Zach, two tens to start. Has the one, three, nine, and ten. Two pieces of wood. Aaron Basford, 17 through two. Nice ball, nine. Eight pin left up. 
Be careful that wood. I've seen 10 lemon drops so far. $1 for all to help candle pits for cancer. Lemon drops, $1. Donations for all the bowlers. A fun way to help support a great cause. Basford picked it up for a spare. 27 the ball through three. Third match of the day. Two more to go after this. Two points for a win, one for a tie. No playoffs involved. Live broadcast on Bowler Network, Saturday and Sunday, 9 a.m. Ten strings tomorrow, six on Sunday, five here today. Yes, Bob. Zach. Zach's at 30 through three, all tens, huh? Really good pinning so far. Zach to the left. Aaron Basford, 183 high single on the spare, six. Not happy that lead, three, six, ten, and the seven on the left. 33 through three. Clary leave. Zach's going to try and get four tens in a row. Only 20% success rate for Pro Bowls that would. According to Spread Eagle Production stats, yeah. Larry. Yeah, that sleeper pin back there cuts your chances of making it in half. You know, if you think about it, you're about 36% likely to make the four horsemen, only 20, you know, it almost cuts your chances in half by having that extra sleeper pin on the other side. He gets an 8, 38 through 4 for Zach Skinner. Aaron Bass for a 9, 42 through 4. Back to top of the Paul Grant Wildly with you live from Academy Lanes, Cable Mass, home of this year's. World Championship match also, the Worlds, coming this November, Veterans Day week. This is the Mixed World Championship here today. Third of five strings. All separate matches. Dave's on a spare. Over here. Dave Gilbert, 20 in the ball. Goes left and gets four, 24 through two. Now Nelson, 15 through two, trying to get on track here. Off to the left gets four, maybe five, make it six. One, four, seven, and nine. Three pieces of wood. Al's swung 35 miles an hour. He's, our, he's, the, he's got the fastest pitch. In, in this, in this Dave game. Gilbert. Nice ball. The wall. Oh, get it. it. Sliced and diced it for a spare. 34 and a ball through three. Good try by Nelson. Couldn't quite get the nine to go. Good effort. That looked good. Dave Gilbert bowling since 1982. 10 for Al Nelson, 25 through three. Dave Gilbert was the 2018 championship of the Maine State Opens, 225 doubles, which means 225 average combined for both bowlers, the highest you can be. Won the 2004 mixed team championship of the Maine State Opens. On a spare, in the pocket, diamond. 40 through 3. Solid start here. Each team looking at their first points. Al Nelson goes right, gets 4. Dave Gilbert made the 1 5 with no wood for a spare one time. He's in a triangle. Triangles go about 45% for Pro Bowl of Wood. All stats again provided by Spread Eagle Productions. If a great can of bowling, subscribe free on YouTube to Spread Eagle Productions. Subscribe is free. Oh, look at this. You gotta be kidding me. A Baltimore chop. <laughs> now Nelson, Rob there. Gilbert, Nate, 48 through four. Back to the top of the order in just a moment. One more ball to go for Al Nelson. Nice out for nine. Beautiful shot, 34 for four. I'd like to thank one of our sponsors, Merrimack Valley Foot Specialist, my doctor, Dr. David Greenblatt. Dr. David Greenblatt, Merrimack Valley Foot Specialist, a top-notch caring doctor like no other I've seen before. Had surgery last December, painful toe injury for years, searing pain. One surgery, pain's gone away. They're at 62 Brown Street, Haverhill, Mass, next to Holy Family Hospital. That's Merrimack Valley Foot Specialist, hosted by Dr. David Greenblatt. 
Call me at 978-556-9700. 978-556-9700. One of the bars open. It's nine in the bonus though for Mona. Big nine, Phil. On the strike, 45 through four. Dyer, he's up three. Two, five, and 10. Mona Lamar, a nine, 54 half. Dyer, seven. That's how you have to like, 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 that's how you I talked to David Greenwald, that Merrimack Valley foot specialist. There's no pain in all game. Mona Lamar got a break as the one, two, and the seven. Check mark of Paul Dyer. Paul, again, the owner of All Play Film Entertainment Center in Belfast, Maine. We'll be there July 30th for men's money match two. Paul Dyer, Mark Carrier. Clinch that match with two spare eights and a strike to clinch the victory for Mark Weber. And he gets a nice shot up off the wall for his spare. Second mark of the string, 62 to the ball, six, Paul Dyer. Mona Lamar in eight, 62 through six. 19 pin lead ball, is it? That'll be uh, 11. 11. High load dispensary the, the lead. And what, and what's the bonus situation look like? One? Just the one spare from Paul Dyer, so it's 11 plus a ball. Here the high lows. Here's Michelle Ward. On. Oh. Another agenda Ward who won the ICBA championship last year. Tough leave there. Four, five, Gino six, Gilbert. Seven, eight, ten, Tough leave here. The 4 7 to 5 to the right. Gino 47 through 4. Michelle just 29 through 4. Not a friendly leave. Open. He knows open also. Michelle Ward bowling since seven years old. He says 2.6 pound Cobra bowling balls. Tough six. 35 half. A great bowler. A tough start. Gino Gilbert, nine. 56 half. Gino Gilbert, part of the Women's State Championship in 2011, won multiple state titles, including the APH, Average for Handicap Tournament, singles, open singles, and open 225, which again is based on 225 cap for doubles. Fourth, Michelle Wood, Wood to help. Parallel, pack of five rather. Hay bale for Gino. Michelle knew it right away. He's up to one of the eight. Body language not good here in the string. Gino for spare. Two oh, full. Yeah. Punch out the half Worcester. Eight. 43 through six. Good pitting. Gino Gilbert, 65 through six. All right, Bob, updating the scores and the marks here. Still one mark to none. Paul Dyer. No, he's a 64. 65. 15, 15 pins plus a ball for uh, high low. In the main rivalry here. Here's Tom Pelkey. 56 to four to spare eight. In the first spare nine in the third. Here's Renee Skinner. The captain, solid start, 39 through 4 by Mark, it's 3. Pelkey, good bid, triangle right side, the 6, 9, the 10. Renee, good bid, he's up the 3, the 5, and the 7 to the left, 3 pieces of wood. Pelkey, nice shot for a 9. 65 half for the 112 league bowler. And again, during his prime, he was a 128 league bowler. Eight for Nate Skinner. Again, run up to Lori Lewis in the Chichen Nationals last year. 47 half of them, eight box. Tom Pelk again, impressive numbers. 195 high single, high triple 479, high five 745, 
I-10, 1329, out of 1710 Augusta, Maine. It's free that time. Renee, nice ball there, but look at this. Possible wood to help there, or typical Five, right. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Not a conventional leave. Ducky just left. He's a five. So Austin plus the five pin. Renee, two time ladies international team champion. He's at the four, seven, and the ten. Belkey, nice out for nine. 74 through six. Third match of the day, two more to go after this. All separate broadcast, rebroadcast on Spread Eagle Productions. Subscribe free on YouTube to watch all those matches on Spread Eagle Productions. Renee Skinner at nine, 56 through six. Hilo Dispensary leads by... Let's look, I haven't I haven't updated Renee's score here. Uh, she's at 56, right? Yep. It's just a 14 pin lead then, yeah, plus a ball. High low in the lead, plus a ball. Here's Aaron Basford. Nice ball for a strike, almost. Kingpin left up the five pin. Zach Skinner, 38 through four, pinning well, gets four. Aaron had a spare six in the third. Without Wood, single pins convert 72% for pro bowlers. Missed it, left. Missed opportunity. Right down the middle. Two, four, seven lead. Three pinners go about 51% to Pro Bowl is wood. Aaron gets it for a 10. 52 half. Zach Skinner, seven. 45 half. Aaron Bassford, for his hobby, he loves to mentor his high school, his high school robotics team. Well, fun fact. I like digging in when I do the research for these matches. Let me see a robot throw a ball. <laughs> nice ball, but a two on split. Three six to the right, seven to the left. Can't believe it. Zach Skinner, three. Zach Skinner out of stars and strikes. 188 high single, average 115 right now. 188 high single. High triple 460. Good try by Bassford to open. Zach Skinner's high five 762. Impressive. High 10 1300. This is 2.6 pound cyclone. Rubber 78 ball balls. Good bid almost. Three pin left up. Bassford 10 62 through 6. Zach, 10, 55 through 6. Zach says favorite bowling accomplishment was winning the Bob's Hogs tournament with his kids. Also won a state tourney with his wife. And he loves remote control cars for a hobby. So one with robotics, one for RC cars. Anchor bowl is Al Nelson on the right, 34 through 4. Dave Gilbert, 48 through 4. And a spare 4 and a spare 6 back to back. It's open here. Alan Nelson from Garden of Maine, out of 1710 in Augusta, Maine, the bowling center, seven, half west to right, the three nine, five to the left. Gilbert, just missed the head pin, tough lead. Four spin plus the triangle, the six, nine, the ten. They begin a 113 league goal, a career high 120, high single 191. Nelson goes left, leads up the three. Gilbert, one shot one. And Dave Gilbert's triple, high triple 481, high five 735, high 10 1301 on the 1710 Bowling Center in Augusta, Maine. 10 for Al Nelson, 44 half. Seven box that time, Dave Gilbert, 55 half. Bob, your thoughts so far on the match here? Third match of the day, two more to go after this. Yeah, well, so the lead's now back, back under 10. Paul Dyer's the only one with a mark on the board. He's going to be coming up next for a high-low dispensary. They're, uh, I'm remembering high-low dispensary from, they were the all-play team, right, from uh, from the U.S. Invitation. Last year, yeah. Come on, Lori. Nelson only five. One, three, seven, eight, and ten. No wood. Gilbert, knocking to the left. Slides at five towards the nine. Piece of wood in between to help, maybe. Okay. 
I'll see. Off with the head pin. Sometimes you're better off missing the head pin, right? Seems like sometimes. About 10% of the time. Gilbert with a one and a five off to the right. Missed it. Just the one in the triangle, the six, nine, and ten. One piece of work. Ted for Al Nelson, 54 through 6. Nice shot. What a shot that was for 10. Outstanding 10 box. 65 through 6 for Dave Gilbert for high low dispensary. Yeah, the high bowler through, through 6 is Tom Pelkey, 74. Uh, Jean Gilbert at 65 along with her, with, uh, her husband Dave. But uh, Paul Dyer bowling now is 62 in this ball. Looking to pass them. Dyer. Just four that time. 66 through six. Mona Lamar gets four. Wood to help. Parallel pins to one, five, three, and nine. Six, ten to the right. Dyer on the object pivot, two fold. Eight pins to the left, three, six, ten to the right. Nice try by Mona. That's the one three. She also be bowling the women's doubles event September 10th in extra lanes. Six more teams available, ladies. You want to get a team together? 220 average cap as of May 1st, 2022. That's the women's double event September 10th. Extra lanes, extra answer. Six shifts available for the 10 a.m. shift. Potential prize of $2,500 or more for the top team. Mona and nine, 71 through seven. So Mona Lamar's parents brought her up bowling and she was grew up in a bowling alley. Three dropped there from Paul Dyer. Mona, half west to right. At the age of 60, Mona won the 2018 Ladies State Championship in many of the titles. Even beat one of the young bowlers out in that match to win the championship. Dyer on the object. Eight, three, six, ten to the right. Mona, second ball, but Tough lead. That's the five in the middle, six to the right. Ty trying to get three, gets one for a seven. 80 through eight. Going to try and grab one, he gets an eight. 79 through eight. Gino Gilbert on the right, a high low dispensary. 65 through six. Michelle will try to get on track, 43 through six. Nine pin lead for high-low dispensary, no marks on the board. Anybody's game, both teams lost their first two matches. 21 matches over three days. It's a third of five today. 10 more tomorrow, it's done nine o'clock, five. Nice ball, nine. Pugino. Michelle, what a strike! That's great news for her, struggling the first five. A strike in the seventh, 53 plus two. Huge momentum shift for the 48 year older. High single of 175, high five, 644, high 10, 1144, out of stars and strikes. Michelle Paris, Maine. A nice shot for a spare. Gino Gilder right on it, 75 and a ball through seven. Her third mark of the string. She knows a 110 league bowler, again a high single, 173, high triple 393, high five 667. On the bonus, looks good, eight. Tough piece of wood though, high piece of wood, 4-7 lead. Michelle Ward on a strike, tough lead there, five to the left, six, ten to the right, two pieces of wood. Gino, that spare eight, 83 through seven. She pick it up. Oh, she got the wall. Her fourth spare. She's got two in a row. Look at her go. 93 in the ball through eight. And what a shot for Michelle. After 43 up, a strike and a spare on strike. 63 through seven. 73 in the ball through eight. What a game.
Bob would lead us three now for the 117 Hurricanes. Well, I guess that must be a 93. I think a 93 and a ball for No, that's a, it's seven. Okay. Seven. Seven pin lead now. High low in the lead. Tom Pelkey, head pin. Three to the right, five to the left. 50, 74 through six. Renee Skin on the right, 56 through six. The high low dispensary. Up seven in the string. One string round. Oh, just missed. The head pin by an inch. 110 leaf. Pelkey looking for the mark. Booked it left. He's up to three. On the spare eight and spare nine so far. Nine for Renee Skinner, 65 through seven. Pelkey a nine, 83 through seven. Bob Lee, your thoughts so far on this, this uh, one string match? Well, it's been under 10 for, for most of the last uh, last two. It's going back and forth a little bit. Each team with a mark. You just saw Gene, Gene, Gino Gilbert and Michelle Ward trade spares in the uh, in the eighth. I think it's going to come down to the last box. Clary Leaf. Tom Pelkey, Renee Skinner has the 3 6 10 with one piece of wood. The seventh left. She can kick it over, split the uprights here. Good pin will go! Oh, I'm host! What a try! That would have brought the house down. Oh, Pelkey, good bid there. These are the three to the right, the eight to the left. Pelkey, an accomplished bowler. Nine. Renee Skinner, 74 through 8. 9 for Tom Pelkey, 92 through 8. Another Skinner up now. It's Zach Skinner on the right. A high low dispensary in the red shirt. Aaron Basford for 1710 Hurricanes. Out of 1710, Augusta, Maine. Zach 55 through 6, 62 for Aaron through 6, both open. That's the 1, 2, 7, and 9. 7 pin lead for Hilo Dispensary. One spare piece in the board for each side. Aaron with the 1, 2, 6, and 10 to the right. One piece of wood. Zach 1, 7, and 9. One piece of wood. Just missed the head pin. He did so close, Aaron Basford, so far. Just a shots didn't go his way. Nice out of nine. For Zach Skinner, 64 through seven. One string match. Basford matches a nine, 71 through seven. Two points for a win, one for tie, nothing for loss. Each team lost their first two strings. Third of five today, all separate broadcasts, all rebroadcasts on Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. While you're there, subscribe free to Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. Nice, nice ball there. Let go. Almost. Five pins likes to slide around. Gasper goes right. It's three. I haven't seen a lemon drop. Have you seen a lemon drop yet here? No, I don't think so. No, five it. first two. Oh, he missed it. Left. Missed opportunity. Thought that might shake it. Gasford, the four spin left, the one, two, four, and seven. They go about 36% for pro bowlers that would, according to Spreading Clinton stats. Zach, pinning well, 74 through eight, without a mark. Eight and a seven in between, nine. Four ten boxes, good pinning overall. Tough seven for Aaron Gasford, 78 through eight. Still a 10 pin game. High low in the lead. Anchor ball is now Al Nelson on the left of the Hurricanes from 1710, Augusta, Maine. Dave Gilbert for high low dispensary on the right, in the red. 65 through 6. Al Johnson, Al Nelson, Al Nelson, 54 through 6. The pocket has a check mark. Five to the right, two, four, seven to the left. Two pieces of wood to the right. Al 54 through 6 has the Caleri. 20% success rate for Pro Bowl as that would. Again, stats provided by Spread Eagle Productions. Dave Gilbert had 65 as first six. 
Nice ball, nice ball, but too full. But a little more inside. Nelson, I shot the three. He's up the one, eight, six, ten to the right. Gilbert, nice 10. 75 through 70 is part of the 2004 Mixed Team Championship at the Main State Opens. Oh, pretty shot there for nine. Al Nelson, 63 through seven. Al Nelson enjoys woodworking and ATV. Gilbert off to the left, it's three. He lost the tournament since one of the best days of his career. He went 14.06 to bowl against Al Joy and lost to Al Joy. He only lost that was the best match he was ever in. And he gave him a good bid. He lost 14.24 to 13.89. Gilbert off to the right. These are the one, seven, and the nine. Al Nelson, uh, 1989 ICBA Team Championship, several main Pro Tour wins, several main state titles, several main TV wins. These are the head pin. He also converted the Spread Eagle plus the nine pin for a spare and a strike after that to win a TV show by four pins. Nine for Dave Gilbert, 84 through eight. Nine for Al Nelson, 72 through eight. Final two boxes for each bowler. Two boxes to go in our third match. All separate broadcast. After this match, we'll talk to you after a few minutes after the match is over. On the next match, round four. Okay. We'll do interviews at the Come beginning out. of the show only. Here's Mona Lamar. 79 through eight. Had a strike, nine in the fourth. Has the pack of five. Paul Dyer on the left, all play. Didn't hit the head pin. Five, nine in the middle, bunch of wood, seven, ten corner pins. Lamar off the wall, won't go. Has the four and the eight. Paul Dyer, 83 eight so far. For a spare, good try. Mona Lamar, 10, 89 through nine. Dyer, a nine, 89 through nine. Tight battle here. At Academy Lanes in Haverhill, the Mixed World Championships, day one of three, live broadcast tomorrow and Sunday morning, 9 a.m., 10 matches tomorrow, six on Sunday, five here today on day one, two more after this one. Mona gets four to the left. 10 pin lead for Hilo Dispensary, Dyer, one, eight, and nine, three pieces of wood. One spare piece for the second bowlers, coming up next. Mona trying to pick it up. Look, go! Oh, oh, the wood block. I think that would have gone. Two pins collided. Piece of wood collided. Dyer missed the object pin. Tight battle here in Haverhill. Try to get the first two points. One point for a tie. Mona Lamar nine. Paul Dyer and I. Dyer ninety-eight string. Lamar ninety-eight string. Eight boxes to go. And both bowls on spares. 10 pin lead for high low dispensary. Left. This is there. It's a huge exchange here. It's, uh, uh, it was in the fill. Refill for Michelle Wood. 76 to 8. Gino Gilbert on the spare. That's a Kaleri. Good wood to help two pieces. Five in the fill. Two in that exchange. 98 to 8. Oh, good try, almost. Michelle Ward, good bid. We can get the four pin to go. Strong second half after a 43 half. Oh, what a shot! Gino delivers again. 108 to ball in the ninth. Michelle Ward a nine, 92 through nine. Four spares in the string for Gino Gilbert. Bringing it today here in the third. 110 league ball with a high single of 173. Won a main state championship again in 2011. Multiple championships. Go along. Clary, Michelle Wood. 
no kill, but on the bonus, goes left half Worcester. Yikes. One ten through nine. Adds two more to the lead. Fifteen is the lead right now. Nice bid. Can't get to the four and seven to go. We need at least two, probably three marks. The Hurricanes. Gino Gilbert in the pocket. He's at the five to the right, four seven to the left. Multiple state titles, including the APH singles, open singles title, open 225 doubles, and open teams championships. Gino Gilbert, great bowler. Nice finish, Michelle Wood, 95 string. Good pinning. He's pinned really well in those third balls. Third time she's had two one split and got nines. 119 for Gino Gilbert. What a string. 110. Gino Gilbert. Nice string, nice ball, Gino. Thank you. Where are you from, by the way? Augusta, Maine. Maine. Well, I live in Reefield now. Where, where you live? Reefield, Maine. Okay. Yeah. John Pelkey hit pin. Almost a strike. 119 four mark. You had good pinning too. Yeah. What a two one split. You almost picked up a tens. Great pinning. Thank you. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Gino Gilbert. The high low dispensary. Your husband Dave Gilbert's here also. Pelkey for a spare. Missed it. I'll use that one. Ready. Check my plus for ready. ten. Ready. Pelkey, Hall Grand Special, missed the second, make the third. 102 through 9. Just missed a couple of close ones. Nice bit off the wall. These are the 4, 7, to 10. Renee Skinner, 74 through 8 so far. Now 81, we've got 7 through 9. Renee married with two boys, two stepchildren, a grandson, and two cats. Go, cats! Loves hockey, baseball, and NASCAR. Belkey Triangle, 6 9 in the 10. Renee, hops to the right. Gets three. Renee's been a nurse of 11 years, mostly in corrections and addictions. Very rewarding job. Belkey. Oh, right in the middle. So close. Three more spins he could have had. First spare, won't go. He's at the three to the right, the five to the left. Elkie for a ten, it's a nine. Almost a ten. Pinball actually wouldn't go. 111 straight. Started at a 50 50 now, also. They're selling 50 50s if you want to get your tickets. Renee Skinner, eight box, make that a nine, 90 string. So with four boxes to go in our third match of the day, high low dispensary, at least by 11, for the 1710 Hurricanes from Augusta, Maine. And no marks on the board. So I think yeah. Hurricanes need probably two two marks. Karen Bass for two to the left. They missed a couple of single pins. Head to hit for Zach Skinner. Two one split. Two four to the left and six to the right. Gasford parallel pins the one five in the middle. Two eight to the left. There you go. 10 pin right corner. One piece of wood. Skinner try to kick it over. Oh, just missed by a speck. One fifteen league bowl is Zach Skinner, high single of 188. Aaron Bass for an 8. 90, make that 86. 86 to 9. Zach from Westbrook, Maine, originally from Norway, Maine. That's where Mark Smith lives, Norway, Maine. High single 188, high triple 460, high 5 762, high 10 1300. Out of stars and strikes, Salt Paris, Maine. Gets an 882 through 9. Gasper yes, needs a mark. Kaleri. 11 pin leaf, a high low dispensary. Three boxes to go. Two points at stake, one for a tie. Skinner, three. Asford, just head pin. You need to get a two or three here. Nine 
We'll sign up after this match, and we'll come back in a few minutes after that for our fourth map. What a try by Skinner. We're going to have Price's wood flooring at the Universal Screening next. Price wood flooring on the U.S. Invitational last year, all of the worlds. Seven of Bassford, 93 string. And Nelson's probably going to need a couple of marks. And eight. Where Zach's going to 90 string. And they gain a pin with two boxes to go in our third match of the day. High low dispensary up by 12 over the 1710 Hurricanes. Al Nelson needs to come up big here for the Hurricanes. 72 through 8. Dave Gilbert on the left, 84 through 8. Now looking for his first mark for the string. Be a good time to get some now. Only three. All together. Dave Gilbert on lane 33, right down the middle. Spread Eagle plus the nine. He needs to really pin well here if he doesn't get the spare. Hope for a big fill. You mark. Down 12. Good shot, almost! They could have used that one. The 10 would be huge. That's right, he's, he could still pick up three or four pins. Or See how more. Dave Gilbert does here. Second ball. Chopped out two. Five left. Close match here at Haverhill. Mixed World Championship. Two points on the line. <laughs> Nelson nine, just 81 through nine. Dave Gilbert, seven. That makes a 10 pin lead with one box to go on the match. It's a 10 pin lead. Hilo dispensary in the lead. Al Nelson needs a, needs a big one here. He might need a strike in a spare at least. Nice ball for strike! Oh god, yes! Huge strike in the ten! Wow! Gilbert, Diamond, Wood to help. 1-7-10, Hurricanes. The winds are swirling here in the ten. Gilbert, oh, what a try. Five pin left up. Ten is huge here. If he gets a ten, he's going to force Al Nelson to get a mark. Big shot here for ten. Missed it. The door's open. So 100, right? 100 even for Dave Gilbert. So he needs nine a, filled to nine tie filled a to ten tie. to win. Final box of the match. Two more to go after this. Al Nelson got his first mark. A good time. A strike in the tenth. Needs nine to tie. Ten to win for their first win of the day. Could use a hurricane. Off to the right, six, the one, seven, nine, and ten. Not three pieces bad. of wood. Needs three bad. to tie for one point. All four to win. Thrilling finish here in Averill at Academy Lanes. The Mixed World Championships. This is big, he can! He got eight, nine, a ten! Wow! What a shot! Spear on strike of the ten! Wow! You gotta be kidding me! Had no life, 72 through eight! What a finish! 101, incredible! And a one. The 59 year older, the Hurricane delivers the ten! <laughs> All right, we were, we were the last group going. And uh, we're, we, we have to go. So final score? Final score is... Uh, one pin? 498 to 497. A one pin win for Hilo Dispensary. A thrilling finish. Catch you later on on Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. Subscribe free. We'll see you back in a few minutes. Paul Grant, Bob Lee. Next string is Prices Wood Flooring and... Universal Screening. Universal, see you in a few minutes.